guys, this is Raina with Israel Diamonds. And I'm Lori, and we're gonna to talk to you today about after you receive your engagement ring and after you said I do, how to extend the wear of your ring and a couple do's and don'ts on what you should do. Raina's gonna start with the first don't on the list. Yes, so there are many things that you know our clients come in, they're wanting to check the rings and get them cleaned, and then we hear, oh, I wear my ring all the time. Well, Maybe you shouldn't sometimes. There's certain instances right. you do want to take your ring off. I'm going to start with, you know, one of the big ones. Uh, for example, if you're redoing your landscape or if you're gardening, does the ring really need to be on your hand? The answer is no, because, you know, digging in the dirt, of course the ring is going to get dirty. We don't know what it's going to get stuck in. We don't know what it's going to be scraped on. So we don't want to cause any damage to the ring as you're redoing your wonderful garden. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you've worked on your garden, your hands are swollen, you want to get the ring cleaned, you want to get it off, and then you come in here and, well, the ring is stuck because your body is so swollen from doing all that work and heat and stuff like that. So, And you don't want to resort to having to lick the finger to get the ring off. We've, yeah, don't do that. We've had some people, you know, a couple of weeks later, there's so much bacteria on that that's stuck in the ring. and. Some people actually get sick because of it. So the best way to get the ring off if it's stuck, a little bit of Windex on your knuckle and work your ring off and that should really, really help. The second don't is gonna be from Lori. The second don't, we definitely suggest, we just came out of summer and I know a lot of you probably went to the lake, maybe you went on a trip, went to the ocean, went to the pool. Uh, chlorine is really bad for the ring, especially if it's white gold because it has a rhodium plating on the outside of it and that tends to tear down the rhodium plating and make it look kind of a yellowy color. Uh, so we definitely suggest any type of water activities, lake, river, ocean, pool, do not wear your ring, just leave it at home. Yeah, the fish doesn't need to see the ring. It's definitely. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. And something else, uh, Raina's gonna cover the third don't on the list. And working out in your ring. We know a lot of you love to wear the ring in the gym because we don't want those guys hitting on all us. Right. We all know that, but it's a precious piece and it's metal and it's usually very dainty and delicate so it is not meant to handle all the weights that you're lifting all the machines that you're pressing on that entire pressure that you're putting on the <laughs> ring is not good for it we see many rings that are bent out of shape and then it changes the structure of the piece and then you end up losing many of your side stones where you can avoid it the fourth thing would be moving furniture any heavy objects especially furniture if you are going through a move just remember to keep it in a safe place maybe inside of your purse, which you're gonna have on you throughout the entire move, most likely. So definitely do not move any furniture. And with Thanksgiving coming, you know, in a couple months here, who's not gonna be baking and cooking and making meatloaf and making pies? So when you're pressing all that dough and mixing all that yummy, delicious food, I would take the ring off, set it in a nice, safe place. Usually we like you to designate one place at your home that you know your ring in. You know, usually a jewelry box or a little ring plate that you put it in where you know my ring is safe right there. That all those food particles will get stuck in your ring. Not only will it make it dirty, but that's another place for it to harbor bacteria and eventually irritate your finger. Right. The next don't is we really suggest when you're going on vacation, especially out of the country, it's just a major risk taking it with you. So if you don't have to have it, we definitely don't want you to take it on vacation. Um, we've heard horror stories of people leaving it accidentally in the hotel room, and obviously it's a valuable that is probably not gonna be returned to you. And then another thing, we have a lot of our clients that are very handy, they like to do, you know, remodeling around the house. So we have had to remove a lot of different paint colors from different <laughs> rings. So when you're painting, and I know you have the urge to wear the ring when you're painting, take it off. Not only are you gonna be more comfortable as far as you know gripping and putting all that pressure, but also you won't have to worry about the paint splatter getting into your ring and then covering your diamond and possibly causing damage to your setting again from all that pressure that's applied to it. Well, speaking of doing things inside your home, laundry, a lot of ladies do, and we highly suggest that you do not do laundry with your rings on. Again, like Raina had said, choose a spot in your home, either a ring holder, jewelry box, jewelry armoire, whatever you have, place it in there when you get home and you're starting to do activities like laundry. Many times we've had people come to us say they lost their diamond 
actually in the washing machine. Some have found it, some have not. So definitely suggest not doing laundry in your ring. It's probably right where those missing socks are too. <laughs> yes, the it diamond works. monster yes. and the sock monster. It's gone. <laughs> so there is a do list. Those were the do nots. Now we want to kind of talk to you about things that you would do. The first thing is when you're sleeping, just take the ring off. Again, put it in its home. The second I get home, and I know Raina does too, everyone that works here, we take our rings off. They have a designated specific spot where we put them. So take them off. Yeah, and those sheets, you don't think of it, but the sheets are right. like almost like sandpaper on your ring. So every night when you're sleeping, you're moving around, you're right. tossing around, those sheets are actually wearing down your metal. Correct. So that's that's another reason you'd want to take it off while you sleep. And then um, also you want to take it off while you're showering. Um, again, there is some chlorine and things in the water. Um, there's actually a chance of you possibly losing it down the drain as well. Uh, you just don't want to shower in it, plus you get soap and shampoo and all kinds of things collect on the diamonds and the gold. So highly suggest that you don't shower either. And then uh, uh, the cleaning so, at home. Yes, yeah, so yeah. let's say you've done some of the don'ts and I'm like, oh my God, I've done like seven out of the eight things you just listed. What do I do now? So we do have a way for you to clean your ring while you're at home. Of course, if you can bring it to us or to your jeweler or whoever where, where you get your ring from, that's great. But if you're at home, you need to have your ring clean. We have a little cup here that is basically 50% Windex and 50% hydrogen peroxide. And that is pretty much the best solution to soak your ring in for cleaning. You don't need to buy any fancy jewelry cleaner. It's usually just ammonia, which is nothing but Windex. We add some peroxide for that disinfecting factor. So all you have to do, just get, you know, maybe like an inch or so in a small cup and then just let your ring soak in there. Usually, you know, a few minutes is sufficient. If you're gonna jump in the shower in the morning, once a week, once every couple of weeks, just get into the habit of putting your ring in there. Once it has soaked in there for a little bit, like we said, five to 10 minutes is all it needs. You can take it out and then just take a, you know, just a soft toothbrush. Anything with soft bristles will work. Very gently, just kind of brush around your diamonds, make sure you get anything that's stuck out of there. And once you feel like it's nice and clean, just dip it back into the Windex. And then warm water, just regular lukewarm water, like a tap water, just go ahead and run it in there. Just rinse it off and then we have a paper towel here. Once you're done, just take it, take the paper towel, wipe it off really good, tap it dry, and that should pretty much get it nice and clean until you're able to bring it into us and then do a professional cleaning on it. And of course, once a year, bring it in to be fully polished, cleaned, disinfected for you. Anytime you can, we're here to help you out. So guys, this is the do's and don'ts for your ring once you receive your new engagement ring or an anniversary ring. And we, if you have any questions, again, feel free to call us. You can email us here at info at israeldiamond.com or call our phone number 888-492-9300. So good luck with all the do's and don'ts, guys. Bye, guys.